Excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor for me to address this 13th as Russian International Studies Association Convention. This convention provides an opportunity to exchange views and discuss ways towards a global community with a shared peace, stability and prosperity, including through the role of ASEAN and the contributions of ASEAN-Russia strategic partnership. Let me begin by highlighting ASEAN's commitment to maintaining a global and regional architecture that is open, transparent and inclusive. ASEAN member states are united by a common desire and collective will to live in a region of lasting peace, security and stability. We sustain economic growth, shared prosperity and social progress in the context of ASEAN continues to underscore the importance of multilateralism, regionalism and international law. ASEAN has long taken pride of its role as a key actor in promoting regional integration. Over the years, ASEAN has been working to organize engagements and enhance cooperation to address shared challenges, seize greater opportunities and avoid disputes and tension with ASEAN centrality and its helm. Amidst the overall fluidity in the global and regional environment, as well as a growing tension between major economic and military powers, it is in the interest of ASEAN to lead the shaping of, the, of its economic and security architecture to achieve the objective of a stable and prosperous region. As stated in the ASEAN Outlook for Indo-Pacific, which serves as a framework for cooperation in the region, ASEAN also aims to promote enabling environments for peace, stability and prosperity to address common challenges, uphold rule-based regional architecture and promoting a closer economic cooperation, thus strengthening confidence and trust. To this end, asserting ASEAN centrality is more crucial than ever. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, ASEAN has continuously developed friendly relations and mutually beneficial cooperation, dialogue and partnership with countries and organizations across the globe, including with Russia. ASEAN also continues to be the driving force in fostering regional collaboration and maintaining its central role in regional cooperation mechanism. Towards this end, ASEAN is working closely with partners through various ASEAN-led mechanisms such as the ASEAN Plus One, ASEAN Plus Three, ASEAN Defence Ministers Meeting Plus, the ASEAN Regional Forum and the East Asia Summit. Furthermore, ASEAN's belief that the partnership and engagement with partners are key in achieving the ASEAN Community Vision 2025 for an integrated, peaceful and stable community, particularly through community building efforts in three ASEAN community pillars, namely the ASEAN Political Security Community, ASEAN Economic community and ASEAN social culture community. This year, ASEAN celebrates its 54th anniversary. Southeast Asia, under the banner of ASEAN, has, been, has every reason to be proud of its achievement as the association has been able to fundamentally shape the regional agenda in many ways. Yet, there remains considerable work to be done to ensure that the achievements are durable and sustainable and inclusive. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 
allowed me to refer to ASEAN and Russia relations as an example of a fruitful partnership towards greater mutual benefit. Russia has been a long-standing partner of the regions and supporter for ASEAN centrality in the evolving regional architecture. ASEAN and Russia mark an important milestone in the partnership with the elevation of ASEAN-Russia dialogue relation to a strategic level at the third ASEAN-Russia summit in 2018, which reaffirmed the commitment to further strengthen and deepen and substantive our cooperation. Both parties are also preparing intensively for the fourth ASEAN-Russia summit to mark the 30th anniversary of ASEAN-Russia relations later this month. This summit would provide a good opportunity to further strengthen and charge the future direction of the ASEAN-Russia strategic partnership. The ASEAN-Russia partnership has continuously grown as demonstrated through remarkable progress in the partnership in various areas across the ASEAN, three community pillars. Some example of ASEAN and Russia's priority area of cooperation are in the field of ICT security-related issue, counter-terrorism and transnational crime, trade and investment, science, technology and innovation, promotion of the people-to-people -people context, health and disasters management. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, COVID-19 has generated unprecedented challenges and exacerbated existing economic and social environmental vulnerabilities. With the lessons from the pandemic, ASEAN has taken the opportunity to become a more inclusive and resilient community. ASEAN's unity has been evidenced in many occasions of over the past year as it responded recently to the crisis through a number of key initiatives such as the COVID-19 ASEAN Response Fund, the ASEAN Regional Reserve Medical Supplies for Public Health Emergency, and the ASEAN Comprehensive comprehensive recovery framework and its implementation plan. ASEAN has also finalized the ASEAN Travel Corridor Arrangement Framework, which aims to facilitate essential official and business travels in the region while safeguarding public health. Additionally, ASEAN will set up the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergency and Emerging Diseases in the near future. At the same time, the pandemic's devastating impact on our economy and society has been a reminder of how interwoven our lives are with others in the world. It demonstrates the value of multilateral cooperation as tackling the pandemic and its social economic impact requires solidarity and action at all levels across the international community. Together with its partner, ASEAN continues to emphasize the importance of strengthening joint efforts towards regional recovery, building resilience for public health emergencies, as well as ensuring affordable and accessibility of COVID-19 vaccine. In this regard, ASEAN appreciates its partners continue support in mitigating the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and advance the region's recovery. Russia's efforts to support ASEAN can be seen through the enhancement of regional vaccine access and launching of the Sputnik V production in interested ASEAN member states, as well as training courses for ASEAN epidemiologists to enhance regional preparedness and capacity in preventing and responding to communicable infectious diseases. Beyond recovery, ASEAN looks forward to work closely 
together with our partners towards a long-term resilience in post-pandemic world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to conclude, I would like to reiterate the, necessi the necessity for more concerted effort, coordination and collaborations among countries to achieve and strengthen a global community with shared peace, stability and prosperity. Looking ahead, ASEAN stands ready to cooperate with our external partner, including Russia, to address the common issues that we face both regionally as well as internationally. I wish this convention a great success. Thank you.